next on the agenda is to get the bees fed. Um, it's actually the about the second week of June. So I've got my smoker going. This uh, is sugar syrup that I made up last night. Um, my bees, I've got one beehive that is still going through two quarts about every three days. And the other one has only been going through about two quarts every seven to ten days. But um, the one that's using the most has actually been out now for three or four days. So we're going to walk up to the uh, beehives and I'm going to swap them out and check to see how much comb they've got built in the new secondary box. Now I'm going to not let this roll while we walk out there because it's probably not going to stay on but I am going to pause it. So I'll bring you right back in a minute. Not really sure how this is going to work out. You can see I got my smoker going pretty good now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit of smoke in front so that they know that I'm here. Doesn't have to be a lot. Then I put the smoker on the hive next to me. I've got my hive tools in my pocket. I lift off the top cover. So here's where I've got my mason jar, which is empty. I just take it and pull it up and then I set it down right in front of it just like that now for the rest of this I'm probably gonna need both hands so I move the box off I'm gonna smoke this a little bit I got I see just one bee there on the top not a big deal now I'm gonna set this camera off because I need really two hands for the rest of this I'll put it over here where you can see anyways hopefully I'm basically just going to take the inner cover off. I just rotate it in a circle to break the propolis. Then I just lift it off. And I lay it down right in front of the hive like this. So let me show you what we've got here. The bees are pretty calm. We do have quite a bit of comb starting to form in the center. I see them building out comb on the edges. So everything so far is looking pretty good. I'm not going to really do anything. I'm not going to look for the queen. All I'm going to do now is put the inner cover back on, put the new sugar water up there for them and call it a day on this hive now I usually shake the bees off make sure you're not going to squash any of your fingers pretty easy no bees up here everything's calm I don't know why people are always like you work with bees and you don't even wear a suit. Well, I've not really ever had a time that I needed to, to be honest with you. You know, it's they're super hot, especially in June and July. Bee suits are just ungodly hot. So, if I can get away with not wearing them, I do. All right, got a couple of stragglers on this jars i'm just gonna leave it sit there usually by the time i get back they go away so now i'm gonna move over to this one we are going to do the exact same steps believe it or not hopefully my smoker is still going barely I'm going to move my full jar of syrup 
down. I'm probably going to do this pretty quick because I'm not sure if my smoker is actually going to come back. Yeah, it is. So, a little bit of smoke, let them know I'm here. I'm going to take this sugar water, roll it off the top. Just like I did on the other one. Now, this one's not empty, but I'm swapping it out anyways because it's getting to be about a 7 to 10 days old. And I don't want them to have... All right, that's kind of interesting. We got some ants in the top of this. Obviously here for the sugar. And the bees don't seem too worried about them, which is odd. Now I'm gonna set my smoker back over here. Give it a couple more puffs to keep it going while I take this top cover off. I'm actually really surprised these bees are letting these ants on there like that. Same thing. I'm gonna move this down here to the front. Looking on down in there. This one does not have as much comb built out in the top. They are building comb, just not as much. I'll show you. There's a little bit of comb there that's being built out in the very center, but they're not near as far along as the other hive was. But you can see the bees are still pretty calm, even though I just basically interrupted their life. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna shake the bees off. Get this camera set back up. I'm going to shake the bees off and then we're going to put everything back the way it was with the new sugar water on. Now I have gotten stung I think once doing this but for the most part they don't bother you. One straggler there he's gone now. Literally, as soon as you shake them off, they go back down inside. So, there's that back on. The new sugar water. Always turn it upside down, away from the hive somewhat. Then put it on. Actually, I wonder if... I opened that opening up some to give them a little more access to that. I'm going to put the top box back on. And I'm going to put this back on. Now, these jars still have a few bees on them. And usually what I do... I just grab a hold of them and blow them off. Same way as this one. So now I've got my jars, collect my tools, and we're done. Pretty simple, huh?